I will look a video about traveling because that hasn't been done before. What up the amazing person currently watching this? It's Basepick aka M. So, as you would probably know this, and you should know this because I posted a video about this, but that's not the point. I went to Melbourne last year in November. When I was down in Melbourne, I was like, hmm, that involved around traveling, that stresses me like no tomorrow. And in all honesty, I'm the type of person that doesn't really get stressed easily, which I'm very happy with, but you stick me in a traveling situation and honey, will I be stressed pretty much the whole damn way until like, three days into the actual trip and then like three days when I get home from the actual trip so there's that but I'm gonna give you a kind of like a before traveling during traveling all that kind of stuff of why that stresses me out let's get started okay so first thing we have to talk about is even before you get on the plane even before you pack your bags even before you do all that kind of stuff it's deciding where the heck to go I was very lucky same thing as my brother because we both went down to Melbourne we were very lucky that we got to book through student flights we were very lucky with that and they gave us all the information we had we ended up actually getting the lady who helped us her number so we could talk to her and call her and let's just say I bet she regretted that decision because me being me I'm the type of person that is always like the what if, if that makes sense? Like, what if this happens? What if this other thing happens? Oh my God, what if that happens? Like, I'm that type of person. So, my poor little brother, who also, mind you, didn't even give me her number, so I couldn't even talk to her. He always had to do it, because, you know, he wanted to do it for some reason. So, I was always asking him all these questions that then he would relay to her and then would relay back to me. And I'm just like, I feel so bad for this lady who's getting phone calls at, like, 12 30 in the morning because you know i'm messaging my little brother going oh my god what if this happens i actually got to a point where my little brother had to say that's not gonna happen and i'm like you don't know that but still and also that's just like that part of it right but then when you're actually there like talking to the other person about traveling and what's gonna happen i then start to get extremely stressed about oh my god how much is this going to cost me like, like I said, I'm a tutor, love my job with all my heart, but let's just say, like, let's be real right now. The money that I get from tutoring, which I'm not going to tell you how much I make because I don't want people going up in the comments about it, but let's just say I would have to save up an entire, probably month's wage just to go to the rock and roll alternative markets here in Sydney and, they, and their cheapest stuff they have there is like $50, so that probably just gives you a generalization of how much I make. But that's not the point. The point is, is that I then start to think, holy crap, this is actually going to cost me money. Where did my money go? On probably all of the DVDs that I bought in the past week. So let's just ignore that part. And now let's go to the packing of the bag stage. Okay, this could be just me, because you know, I, I'm, a, I'm a girl, in case you haven't noticed that, but I am one. I know my hair and my voice doesn't help that, but I am one, trust me. When it comes to the actual packing of the bag stage, I'm like the two extremes. And the thing is, I want to point out, I'm the two extremes, but like in the opposite way that it should be. So for example, we went down to Melbourne for a week ride. Do you know what I took? I honestly took one pair of PJs, two pairs of leggings, one pair of jeans, one nice like dressy shirt and like five normal shirts and then underwear and socks, all that kind of stuff. My brother on the other hand went even more than that. But this is what then I would take on like a two day vacation just for the weekend. We're talking like jumpers, we're talking jackets, we're talking hats, we're talking boots, we're talking multiple shoes, we're talking all this kind of stuff. It's like, honey, it's two days, still in Australia, still in Sydney, down the road. What are you doing with your life? I don't know. Okay, but guess what? That's even before we even get to the airport. Now this is the driving to the airport stage, which, oh my God. Okay, so now this is probably the most annoying thing about me, like in general, which is I am a double checker. But I don't just double check, I triple check, I quadruple check, and I check however many times there is after that. I don't know what actually comes after quadruple, so yeah. Don't go off at me in the comments, I was, I was never good at math, so yeah. So, I would constantly do that, but not only like at home the night before, lighting, why are you doing this to me? Like the night before, on the day, when we get there, halfway through the trip, and it's just a cycle that repeats, because knowing my luck, I would definitely forget something that it turns out I needed, which has happened more times than I would like to admit. And then you end up having to buy that thing, and you're just like, this would have been so much more easier if I just brought that to begin with, but clearly I didn't. So yeah, I'm one of those like double checking people. So that already stresses me out, because the whole time going through the airport, I'm just like, wait, is my passport there? Is my bag there? Did I bring my laptop? Oh my god, I forgot a cable. Like, that's what I'm like. 
And then the other thing is the actual car ride. Now again, this is more just probably because it was me and my brother going to Melbourne for the first time by ourselves without our parents. So the whole car ride, I'm just like, oh my God, the plane's gonna crash. Oh my God, we're gonna get robbed down there. Oh my God, everything bad that's gonna happen is going to happen. And it actually didn't, thank you, Jeebus. So that's just on the way there. Now when you're actually at the port, at, at the port, wow, well, at the airport, then the stress continues to just pile on. So first, let's just get started with the checking in. Now, in all honesty, because I I'm just referring this back to the fact that it was me and him the first time traveling by ourselves. Our parents like went with us to the airport, obviously, like pretty much waited at the gate before we had to actually walk through to like be on the plane. So they were kind of helping us through everything. But see, here's the thing, right? I've got a Dory memory. So for the whole like checking in thing i was half hoping we could talk to a person but clearly that wasn't possible so obviously we had to do it on like a machine type thing and guess what um d my dad's like showing us what to do hit like fifty thousand menus and was like okay here's your boarding passes and i'm like we probably should have filmed what he did just saying we probably should have done that and then when you're actually going through the checking in part where you got to put the bags on all that kind of stuff again me being a bit of a stressor that i am i'm just freaking out going oh my god this is going to be like 0 0.0000000001 percent over and thank you jeebus it wasn't but knowing my luck that's what would happen and then the dreaded customs okay and i think it's because when i get stressed and a bit nervous i get very clumsy and kind of like oh my god oh my god so I obviously had to empty out everything on my pockets, all that kind of stuff, and I'm walking through, all good. And then I went to get my stuff, and they're like, okay, faster, faster, because I was taking forever, and I'm like, eh. And in all honesty, I'm just like that, even, even when we weren't traveling, just me and my brother, just in general, whenever we took a trip, I was like that. Let's just say, whoever was behind me in that situation, I feel very bad for them. And then finally, the waiting part, which again, induces even more stress because I'm like, oh my God, they're going to forget my bag here. Oh my God, they're going to do this. They're going to do that. We're going to die. Like, it, it's just, it's not fun. Okay, uh, this video is getting pretty long, but I'm going to keep on going. Now we're actually on the plane, which, oh my God. Oh, first of all, let's just talk about the seats for a second. I know this has been done to death, but seriously, who designed the seats? Okay, I want to point out, I am six foot one six foot one in height so already that's a bit of an issue for me and the other thing is you probably seen in my other videos before is that i am kind of thick if that makes sense so the fact that the seats are like that with a belt that's like that um do, do you think all of this could fit in a seat like that i don't think so honey i don't think so and i end up being so squished for the entire flight with no leg room really uncomfortable and it honestly i'm not gonna lie when i was on the plane i was kind of like oh damn i think i must be getting my period got off the plane and i'm like no it was just the seat belt that was crushing my insides this one is the food and all honestly the food is very hit or miss on a plane not gonna lie but the thing is why the heck is plain food like on the actual plane and even in the airport so expensive like honestly straight out my brother and i no word of a lie saw a sandwich like a, like not even a salad sandwich like we're talking like cheese and tomato sandwich for like eight dollars eight dollars honey eight dollars i could probably buy a cow and make my own cheese if you know what i'm saying and then the final thing just with the plane um the plane assistants is it just me or the second i see one of the plane assistants you know they're in their little and this is for guys as well but you know they've got their hair tied back they've got makeup on they've got their little suit things on they're really they're like that and then i'm just looking down going Damn, I just need to sort out my health life, let me tell you. Honestly, seriously, can I just see, like, a planes, like, assistant person who's, like, you know, walks along going, here's your meal, and, you know, stop ringing the bell, like, that kind of thing, and, like, stop kicking the seat or you will be pushed off the plane, you know what I mean, one of those people. If they're not like that and not, like, supermodel looking, like, can we have someone who looks somewhat normal, please? Finally, you arrive to the beautiful destination that you have gotten and endure more stress. So is it just me? I feel like people who like, you know, release whatever the hatch is or whatever for the bags to actually come out on the conveyor belt. Do, is it just me or does it seem to take like longer than what it should for the bags just to start to come out? Like, I know what you're going to say. Like, oh, you know, it probably takes time for them to put it together and stuff. But it's again, it could be just me, but seconds feel like minutes and then minutes feel like hours and then hours feel like days and then days feel like months and months feel like years. It honestly feels like 
a year has passed and the bags are just starting to come out now. And meanwhile, like I said, I'm stressing going, oh my God, my bag's left in Sydney. Oh my God, my bag is like in the middle of the ocean. Like, oh my God, this, oh my God, that. And then like a minute later, my bag's there. And I'm like, okay, we're good. Let's go. Okay, and then the other one is maps. I've never been a good map reader. In fact, Google Maps is the bane of my existence purely because this could be just me. But for some reason, if you walk the opposite direction for maps, it doesn't actually tell you you're going the wrong way. It just follows you, which... For starters, it's just rude. Second of all, really annoying. Okay, you know what it's like? It's like those people who, when there's something wrong, like certainly got food in your teeth, like you did your lipstick and there's like lipstick here or something like that. And they choose to tell you like the second you get home after you've been out all day and they're like, oh yeah, by the way, you got lipstick here. That, and you're like, oh, when did that happen? Then they're like, oh, I saw it earlier. Maps is like that. Like it tells, like it doesn't tell you you're going the wrong way until you're like a block away from where you're supposed to be. And then you're like, yeah, where is that place? And they're like, oh yeah, it's just back there. Really, Maps? Really? <laughs> okay, but in all honesty, I'm a person who does like to travel a little bit, and I'm really hoping to do that again in the next few years. So I'm just hoping that the stress will curb a lot of it. So, yeah. So this is the song I'm currently obsessed with. Please give this video a thumbs up. Comment something positive, and there should be a subscribe button that side. Please press, because I'd love it if you were part of the musical family and Octopus's Garden. Other than that, I hope you're having an amazing day, and I'll see you next time. And out, peace, love, rock on, bye. Welcome to Octopus's Garden. I've been doing YouTube now for like two years. You think I'll get my my outro right. I clearly don't.